Hello and welcome back. Today I think I wanted to play with these LEDs. Now, these are a bit special. They are RGB, but they're not regular RGB. These are, well, they've come to be known as NeoPixels, but I believe these are not the brand name NeoPixels. These are just generic WS2812 um, NeoPixel type, the NeoPixel-like LEDs. Basically what's special about these is if we flip them onto the back side, you should be able to see here that we've got uh, in, VCC, and ground. So ground would be your zero volts, VCC is five volts on these units, and in is a serial data stream, um, which is apparently really quick. The, da the data sheet says you have to be very quick on the timing to get these to work, but there are a few libraries available for Arduino, so I figured we'd play with these today. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is solder on some pin headers. Got these guys here, so we have a better chance of being able to play with these. And so let's do that now. I've got my soldering iron warmed up, uh, 350 degrees C. I like to run it at that temperature for my leaded solder. And I'm going to just tin the ground pad here, maybe a bit more. Okay, and I'll be able to hold this. Hopefully you guys can see, be able to hold this down and then tack that one leg on and then I can do the rest. So let's see, I don't want to hold the metal bit because it does get pretty hot. I may actually have to use uh, sticky tack to keep this in place. So I've got some sticky tack here from the dollar store. I'm going to see if I can stick that down. It just needs to stay close enough so I can hold the rest to orientation. Hopefully you guys can see. All right, here it goes. Hopefully that got hot enough. Let me just inspect the solder. Yeah, it seems to have stuck down. You guys can actually see a little bit better because you guys are watching in 1080p and myself, I am just too far away really to see properly. I guess I should have lifted this uh, whole setup up a little bit. Huh? There's two, there's three. That looks properly soldered to me. Let's see if I can get you in focus here. Looks good to me. Now the next step is we're going to have to find some software and thankfully Arduino libraries are pretty darn good. That's one reason to support the Arduino project is because there's so many libraries available for pretty much whatever you want to do. So let's head over to the computer and see about those libraries. Okay, so here I have my basic Arduino Blink Sketch open. And of course, when you're doing new libraries, you have to go Tools, Manage Libraries. And I searched for NeoPixel. And I took um, this one here, Adafruit NeoPixel by Adafruit. Now, let's say I didn't install this yet. If you go over here, you can see this little install button. So when you hover over this, the install button will be here. You just click install and click close. Then when you go file examples, you should be able to go down and find the Adafruit NeoPixel here in your examples. And I think we're going to start uh, easiest, we'll go simple. So let's just open simple. And then you have a lot of text here. It could be confusing, but just read through it. So let's start over here. So include Adafruit NeoPixel.h. That's the library. Don't worry about that. Just leave this alone. 
um, include AVR power. This is all, that's only if you define a variable. Don't worry about this. So, all right, which pin on the Arduino is connected to the NeoPixels? So we're gonna define the pin as number six is the default. We're gonna leave it as six. I'm not sure, I think six is a analog pin and I'm guessing it might require an analog pig pin. So I think we're gonna leave it at six. Now, how many NeoPixels are attached to the Arduino? Uh, mine has 12, I believe. So I'm gonna put 12 in here. Then, okay, when we set up the NeoPixel library, we tell it how many pixels, which pin to send signals. You Note know that for older NeoPixel strips, you might need to change the third parameter. See the strand test. Okay, that's fine. All right. And then we have a delay of 500 uh, milliseconds, half a second. Then you enter your void setup. This is where the Arduino typically starts. So this is for trinket, five volt, 16 megahertz. You can remove these three lines if you're not using a trinket. Uh, we are not. So I'm going to comment out those lines. this there we go now this this text doesn't even exist now all right now pixels.begin that's part of the neopixel library and then we go into the void loop this is regular comes with the arduino this is what it'll run over and over and over for a set of neopixels the first pixel is zero the second is one all the way up to the count of the pixels minus one minus one because the first one is zero so that's what this says here. Pixels.color takes the RGB values from 000 up to 255, 255, 255. So it'll be pixels.setpixelcolor, i, pixels.color, and then it's 0, 150, 0. It'll give you a moderately bright green color. So I'm guessing this is the red value, green value, and blue value. 255 would be max, 0 would be minimum, so this is like halfway-ish. Then pixels.show sends the updated pixel color to the hardware. And then delay for um, our delay value, which is up here, in delay val, 500, so half a second. So let's give this a shot. We're going to upload it to the Arduino by hitting upload. Should give me some text down here saying everything's good and then we're gonna go try it out on the bench. So it's done uploading. Let's go try it out. So here we are back on my workbench. We have our NeoPixel um, circle with the 12 pixels, I think it's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12. That's good. Okay, so next thing is we need uh, jumper wires. So I'm gonna kinda of try to Kind of arbitrarily connect these. These are female this end to male on this end. So I'm just going to go ground is green. VCC will be yellow and in will be orange. Now here's one thing you have to remember. Uh, these are 5 volts and the Arduino is 5 volts. You got a 5 volt regulator right there, right here. You can also use the um, just feed it five volts in, or you can use a USB. Take the five volts, you can also give it up to, I believe, 14 or so volts on the V in pin, and this regulator will bring it down. But these actually draw a lot of current. So I'm gonna use the Arduino to power these. Do so at your own risk. You could actually burn out your regulator if you try to draw too much current. So. I said green was ground, so ground it's up to the third pin there. And yellow is VCC, so there's a five volt pin right there. And then we said we used pin six, whoops, these two pins there. Then we said we used pin six, which is over here, seven, six. Okay, so I'm gonna actually try to secure all this down so we can see it, use uh, poster tack again. Okay, now if all goes well, we should get green LEDs when I plug this in. So let's see. Oh, there it goes. 
there we go it's green I don't know if you can tell because it's pretty bright but there we go we got a row full of green LEDs and I think if I read the code properly I think it's putting each LED green and then when it's done it'll keep putting each LED green so it's not very interesting but we did get the NeoPixels to run which is a feat on itself so let's go back to the computer let's try to do a few modifications to see if we can make this a little bit more interesting okay so we're back to where we started or where we left off I should say so all this is good we have 12 pixels to find pin 6 all this works um, let's try to mess with the delay so I'm gonna put the delay probably about 2 250 so quarter second okay that's good and now here before the void setup I need some more variables so I'm gonna go int red equals zero int green equals zero int blue equals zero there we go so now we have red green and blue so over here in the loop I think I want to create a set of random colors so we're just gonna go red this is not proper formatting uh, like that red equals random and the the syntax for random is random minimum comma maximum so 255 so that should work it should give us a random number between 0 and 255 which will give us a random intensity of red green equals random 0 255 and blue equals random 0 255 there we go and I put this in the loop because I want this to be random every time it loops back around now over here as you remember we need three values for these colors but our values we made them variables red green and blue so if I just go red, green, and blue, this should, and I say should because I'm not a programmer, it should function to give us a random red, green, and blue color every time the pixels go around. So let's give that a try. I will try uploading. Usually I make syntax errors, so usually I get a fail, but we have a done uploading. So let's go plug this in and see if it works. All we have to do now is we have to plug this back in. So green is ground, number three, pin on that side. Uh, yellow is five volts, and pin six is our data pin. So let's plug this in and see if we get random colors. So now we've got purple, blue. I don't know if this is coming out properly on the camera. Another kind of purple, a little bit more greeny, a little bit more purpley, more green. So yeah, this is now working. Red, All right, you should be able to see the transition to red. This is working perfectly. Now, since the um, NeoPixels have uh, power and ground at all times and this data pin sends data, I believe you can pause the animation by pulling the data pin. Let me just see if that's actually the case. Yeah, so it sent the last piece of data there. Plug it back in. There we go. So yeah, this is just a nice little five minute introduction on NeoPixels. I do have more NeoPixels coming in the mail. 
So I'm hoping to do something a bit more elaborate than this, but I needed to get going first and see if I could actually figure it out. And it turns out, looks like I have it figured. Should we do one more example? Let's go try one more example. And back one more time. So now I'm going to go up here, examples, and see what else we have here. So we have button cycler. Not sure if I need to actually connect a button for that. Uh, RGBW strand test, simple, simple new operator, strand test, strand test, BLE. Let's see what, uh, I don't know if these, I don't think these are RGBW, but let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have pin 6, same pin, number of LEDs, 60, I think not, but 12. Brightness 50, sure. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this will work. Let's comment out this. Actually, I'll just... Uh, I don't think we need all this at all. Because I don't think we have trinket. I'm going to remove that. Uh, it says all pixels to off. Okay. And then it'll do a color wipe. Okay, white over rainbow, pulse white. I don't actually know what this is going. This is very complex. I should have read through this before the video. Let's uh, let's see if this will actually just work though. Let's upload it and see what we get. All right, let's go see if it works. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but if it does work, I think everything should start in the off state and then go from there. That was a, actually a lot of code. I'm okay with reading code, but it takes uh, takes quite a while. I have to work through it logically. It's not uh, it's not something I'm very adept at. But anyways, here's two colors in your eye. Very interesting. I don't think I have the correct NeoPixels for this because I'm getting random colors and I think I should have white as well. See the empty spots? I think they should have white on them. So I don't think I have the RGBW version, I just have the RGB version. And so it's not quite the correct effect. But it is a nice demo. It does show you that you can drive NeoPixels with an Arduino. I'm not sure how many you can potentially drive, but it seemed like this um, this sketch was up to 60. So I guess we'll have to see because I do have a 64 NeoPixel matrix on the way. But until then, try it yourself. Get yourself some NeoPixels. It's not that hard to get started. We're probably going to try to do a couple of projects with this guy while waiting for the 64 pixel mat that I ordered. But until then, thanks for watching.